Hi folks, Eric here from Around To It RC, and today I'll be reviewing the FlyZone Transmitter Ready Tiger Moth Micro RC Airplane for you. Now this airplane is also available in a ready to fly kit as well, but for today's review I'll be going over the transmitter ready version, giving you a quick pre-flight breakdown of it, and then we'll take it out to the flying field and give it a try. Now being transmitter ready, what that means for you is you're going to need to supply your own radio to control the airplane. Everything else for the airplane to get it flight ready comes in the transmitter ready kit. And let's go over that real quick. Inside the airplane, you have a 2.4 gigahertz SLT receiver, which allows you to use a compatible tactics SLT radio to control the airplane. Or with the use of an AnyLink radio adapter, you can use one of your favorite radio systems. Now for me, my choice of radio today, I'll be using the Tactic TTX650 radio. This is the latest and greatest radio system in the Tactic line of radios. It has a 20 model memory. It has a lot of other great features packed into it. And I've already done a video review of this radio. And to save time, I'll give you the link to that video review in the video notes so you can go check it out later. So let's go over what you get with the transmitter ready version of the Tiger Moth. Of course, you're going to get a manual with your Tiger Moth, chock full of information, everything you're going to need to know about it. And using my other camera, we're going to go over what comes, what else comes with it. Now right here you have the flight battery. This is an Electrofly 1 cell 3.7 volt 140 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery with a 20C discharge rate. You also get a portable DC charging system for your flight battery. You see it right there. The micro series battery charger from FlyZone. And you get the batteries for the battery system. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the airplane. Now this is a three channel control airplane, meaning you have throttle control, elevator, and rudder control. And you see I have two painted pilot figures right there on my airplane. Now, when you get the kit, they're gonna be unpainted and not on the airplane. You have the option to put them on yourself. I decided to go ahead and paint them and add them to the airplane because I think it adds a little bit more scale detail and realism to it. Now, like I said, that's totally optional. You don't have to add them if you don't want to. Now let's go ahead and go over the specs of the airplane real quick. The wingspan of the airplane is 15.1 inches or 385 millimeters. The length of the airplane is 12.9 inches or 327 millimeters. And the flying weight is 1.1 ounces or 33 grams. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it for the pre-flight breakdown of the Tiger Moth. Let's go ahead and take it out to the flying field and give it a go. Okay, we got the Tiger Moth up in the air. Looking pretty good right now. We've got clear blue skies out here at the flying field with just a little bit of wind. Now, I think we have around three to five miles an hour of wind out here right now, which, about, which is about as much as the Tiger Moth can take outdoors. Remember, it only weighs about 1.1 ounces and it's a micro, so it's gonna not take to, to the wind very good. But for right now, I think it's doing okay. What do you think, Candy? It's a nice little plane. Okay, it is getting bumped around out here in the wind, but with the three channel control, throttle, elevator, and rudder, I'm not having too much of a problem keeping it up in the air and actually having a good time with it. So this airplane would be great for the novice flyer at low cost, you could get into uh, RC flying and uh, have a good time with it. And for the seasoned pilot, you would have a good time flying this airplane, just relaxing while you're flying your other airplanes out of the flying field. Okay, so we're up high. You know, I think I'm gonna try a loop with it. What do you think, Candy? Yeah, let's try one. Okay. All right, going up, I'm gonna go down. How about that? And tell me you got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, you know, sport airbag maneuvers aren't going to be possible with this airplane other than a loop and maybe a, a stall turn or something like that. So this is really just a, a lazy, casual flying airplane 
Uh, it would be great for the novice pilot and like I said for the seasoned pilot, just another relaxing flight out at the RC Club field. Okay, well, I think I've had enough fun with the airplane. Let's go ahead and bring it in. What do you think, Candy? Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's go downwind, set up the approach. Hey, check it out. Nice. Nice. Do I get a thumbs up? Thumbs up. Yay. Thumbs up for the Fly Zone Tiger Moth Micro RC Airplane. Now, I hope you enjoyed the review and flight. I had a good time with the airplane. And remember, you can buy this airplane online from TowerHobbies.com, and I'll be providing the direct links to their website for this airplane in my video notes. So be sure to check this airplane out at TowerHobbies.com, okay? Well, that's about it for the video review of the Fly Zone Tiger Moth. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. As always, I'm glad you got to see me. And Candy. And we'll see you later on the tube. And remember, keep on flying. Keep on flying. <laughs> what? That's a touch and go. Okay. Beautiful. Is that donut? You better not. <laughs> ah. I've had him even closer, believe it or not. Beautiful.